Many students are back in the classroom this week while one college is holding classes on Penobscot Bay. Jackie DeTore takes us to an art school that's about much more than a paintbrush and a canvas. When you think of art, an oil painting or an ancient sculpture may come to mind. But as people gather at the Searsport Shores Ocean Campground, you'll see so much more variety. If the piece doesn't speak itself, then it's not art. Then it's not art. And it isn't always art. Sometimes it's just craft. We could play with a little matter root, which is going to give us like a really nice range of oranges to a deep red. It's the seventh annual Fiber Arts College in Searsport, where over four days students learn knitting, dyeing, doll making, and more. And I'm taking a silk painting class, so we get to design whatever we want on a silk scarf. It's something I've never done. It's really fun. Hoggy works at her husband's dentist office in Bangor, so this annual trip gives her a nice change of pace. It's really fun. It's kind of uh, gets you out of the same old, same old. All different types of arts are blended together on the campgrounds. One author even wrote an award-winning book about her experience with crocheting and math. It's been 15 years since I crocheted my very first hyperbolic plane, and uh, that was meant for teaching hyperbolic geometry. But then it suddenly took off for a fiber art. While others try to tell a story with their work. Pieces about Alzheimer's and about homelessness and a different kind of knitting, different kind of knitting. Some artists even auction off their work to support scholarship funds for future students. Jackie E. Torrey, WABI-TV5 News, Searsport.